Hey, what's up, guys? It's Abstract. This is my favorite NPC. And this is my new NPC. The legendary Akai MPC 2000 Classic. Now this, this machine is a true icon. A staple of golden era hip-hop. Why did I get this? Well, it was 30 bucks on Facebook Marketplace. And I've always wanted an older NPC. I started out making beats on a cracked version of Fruity Loops on a crappy desktop computer. And back then I remember wishing so bad for an MPC 2000. But back then the prices were around a thousand bucks for a used one. And I definitely couldn't afford that back then. Fast forward to today, and the Live 2 is the MPC of my dreams. It's everything I've ever wanted in a music machine. But there's just something so inspiring about this old machine. It's 2024. Why in the world would someone want to get an old NPC like this? It's so slow. Chopping up samples takes a lot longer than chopping up samples on my live tube. I haven't yet figured out how to lazy chop on this, so I'm not even sure if it's possible. But at the same time, one of the things that I love about the 2000 is that it causes me to slow down. It causes me to think about what I'm going to sample, about exactly what part I want how I'm going to use it. It makes me commit to my sound. Once I sample things into it and chop it up, I need to make it work, and I usually do. I installed the GoTech Floppy Drive emulator since the 2000 Classic requires the boot OS on the floppy for it to even boot up. I was having issues with the floppy drive, so I decided to just get rid of it. I have no intention of saving files or projects on the 2000, and I have no intention of loading samples flash drive or SD card. Every sound that I'm going to get out of this machine is going to be something that I sample. For me, it just doesn't make sense getting an old machine like this just to load up MP3s or waves into it. I want to hear the machine and the flavor and the sound that it gives things. And believe me, it does have a sound. Not to mention that the pitching up and the pitching down of samples on the 2000 sounds way way, way better than when I pitch samples up and down on the live tube. Recording a sample off of vinyl and pitching it down often results in a buttery, creamy, slightly lo-fi sound that I love. It's truly inspiring. I've tried matching that sound using my live tube and the Air Flavor Pro plugin, and it doesn't even come close. I really like the feel of the old pads. I know that MPC stuff sells the pad upgrades, but in my opinion, these old pads are a lot softer and just feel better than the new pads on my live too, which are really hard feeling. I got really lucky with this one as it does have the 8 out expansion, however, I don't have the internal effects board and I don't really plan on getting it. Ideally, I want to get a mixer so that I can use the 8 outs and then run it through outboard gear, like guitar pedals, things like that. Would I recommend the 2000 for everyone? No. Definitely not. If you're going to get one of these, you're definitely going to need to have some soldering skills, you're going to have to have basic knowledge of electronics, you need to have money for replacement parts, but it is definitely cool that you can still get some parts for this machine to keep it going. I would recommend the 2000 if you're looking for a specific sound. If you want to add character to your sampling, the 2000 is perfect for that. Also, I'm sure these machines will only go up in value as more and more people start to appreciate them. Everybody talks about the 2000 XL. I kind of feel like the 2000 Classic is sometimes treated like an unloved stepbrother. Will I keep this machine? That is to be determined. I feel like I need to spend more time with it. I don't yet have the muscle memory of working with this machine, but I find that the more I use it, the more I look. I'm interested to hear how this compares to the 2500. Does this sound the same? I know the 2500 has a more updated workflow. Let me know in the comments. And what about you guys? What are your experiences with the MPC 2000? Did it work for you? Let me know in the comments below. And if you have any suggestions for other hardware samplers, let me know. Thanks a lot for watching. Peace.